Stanford University is one of those beautiful campuses that will take your breath away. Tonight, an architect major by the name of Andrew Luck will attempt to draw up a plan to beat Notre Dame. But an Irish Good linebacker player. from Hawaii, Manti Teo, has plans to <laughs> blow up the Luck design. It's the Irish and the Cardinal. Welcome to Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines. You are looking live at a sold-out Stanford Stadium, where tonight, the bottom line is that both Stanford and Notre Dame need a win. The Irish have won four in a row, and they are in search of their first 10-win season since 2006, while Stanford is seeking a BCS Bowl. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brent Musburger. Thanks for dropping by. Here with my partner, Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, you know, we have uh, such respect for what Andrew Luck yeah. has accomplished throughout his career here at Stanford, and this is his final night to make a Heisman Trophy statement, if you will. There's no question, Brent. It's a big opportunity on a big stage for Andrew Luck in his final home game and a chance to really go out, not just a proven winner with a 30-6 and six record as a starter here, but as you said, with some of presentation of ESPN on ABC. We may have a record crowd at Boone Pickham Stadium in Stillwater tonight for a rivalry game that's been played 105 times. Great players like Brian Bosworth, Barry Sanders, and Thurman Thomas have given the state of Oklahoma the thrills of a gridiron in-state war. Simply known as Bedlam. Switzer to Bob Stoops and Bud Wilkinson before them. OU has owned the series with only five losses since World War II. But under Mike Gundy, that gap has started to close with a veteran quarterback in Brandon Whedon and a Bolitnikoff winner in wide receiver Justin Blackman on the end of his passes. The Cowboys find themselves as the favorites for the third year in a row. No longer the Little Brothers, the Sooners, the Cowboys, Bedlam next. Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines, part of Dr. Pepper Championship Week. And while this is not an official Big 12 championship like we've had in past years, it is a de facto championship because the winner is the Big 12 Conference champion and will go to a BCS Bowl. That's what it's all about as these two teams get together. And you take a look at the top five teams in the BCS standings. LSU is taking care of their business in Atlanta with a victory soon to be over Georgia. Alabama Idol just waiting to play LSU. Oklahoma State, you can see the computers like the Cowboys a lot better than the human factor. And it would take an unbelievable performance probably to change all those voters' minds. Welcome, everybody. Brad Nessler along with Todd Blackledge. Partner, they've been doing this thing since 1904. Eight straight losses the Cowboys have suffered at the hands of the Sooners. And even though we talked about stats all week and yeah. before the game leading up to it, I think it's all up here. Do they have it in their mind that they can beat these guys? That's the question that has to be answered. And, you know, the way that Oklahoma State can throw the football and the problems that Oklahoma... 